Genji Shimada is a fast-paced, Strider-class titan. This hunk of metal spends most of his time binge-watching anime, whether that be the most recent episode of One Piece or re-watching JoJo Part 1 for the hundredth time. You may be asking a few questions. How does a robot watch anime? How do you know what he watches? What is Ronin's waifu? These questions have obvious answers. This titan is one of my personal favorites to use, not because of his sword or his voice, but because he allows me to enjoy the soothing sound of metal scraping against metal. Now, concerning the voice of Ronin, you have several options if you're using the North Star client. These range from Ryuko from the first game, to Saiyans from Undertale. I personally recommend you try out all of these on your own, because they're all fucking amazing. Enough with the mods. I'm here to talk about the Tin Can himself. Ronin is a Strider class, and one of the hardest titans to use effectively. This is due to his high mobility, and the fact that his health bar is the size of my dick. He is also very close ranged, so you're gonna have to worry about getting hit quite often. This titan will make you question your sanity, cause you to undergo tachycardia, and will also be the reason you become attracted to pixels on a screen. But hey, in my case, all of that's already true. You'll copy that. Stand by for Titanfall. Check your balls. That's right, I am doing an entire ass section about Ronin's sword. The broadsword is damn near a primary weapon, especially if you're new to Ronin. It has longer range than a normal titan's melee, so it's my go-to whenever I see a pilot within fly swatting distance. One thing I do have to tell you though, is that the broadsword does the same amount of damage as a normal titan melee. So please, I beg you, don't try to melee a titan unless it's doomed. If you do, you're either going to get melee cancelled over and over, or have the titan you're fighting back up and shoot you in your face. And I have a shotgun. Haha, <laughs> let me prove it. Now on to Ronin's primary weapon, the lead wall shotgun. shotgun. The wiki may say this thing does moderate damage, but in reality, it's a fucking monster. Four shots of the thing can do as much damage as a flame core if placed correctly. The lead wall is also able to one shot a pilot at a good distance. Remember to lead your shots though, the lead wall has a painfully long reload time. Well, not really, but it seems long as shit. This is why you need to place your shots as carefully as you can. Ronan's ordinance is called Arc Wave. It functions similar to Scorch's Firewall by sending a wave of energy by dragging your sword on the ground. At first glance, it doesn't look very powerful. A little stun and a little damage, right? Wrong. This thing is fucking disgusting against any titan. Tones Wall? Gone. Gun Shield? Nope. VTOL Hover? In a terrible mistake with your life! This ability is the perfect example of how when you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. As someone with at least 50 hours on Ronin, Arc Wave is my most used ability. It literally is your solution to almost any problem you could have. There are times when I find myself spamming Q when it's on cooldown because it's so essential to Ronin's kit. Have you ever played the Phase Pilot? Here's the Titan version. Phase Dash is Ronin's tactical ability, and it has two uses. Number one, Fuck this shit, I'm out. and number two. You phase Dash is one of the most confusing tacticals because most people already know how to counter it. If a Ronin phases in front of you, turn around. Simple. This is why you should do the exact opposite. Press G and stand completely fucking still. Chances are the Titan in front of you will hit a fat 180 and will be confused as shit when you're shooting them in the back. Another thing I use Phase Dash for is reloading. They're about the same length of time, and it's very useful to ignore damage while your pants are down in the middle of a fight. Okay, Sword Block is a fucking stupid ability. It blocks 70% of all incoming damage, regardless of that being bullet, ball, or literal napalm. Respawn, please explain to me how good of a pilot I have to be to make free counter a shower of napalm in real life. I mean, there are downsides seizing the ability, mainly you being unable to use any other ability or fucking attack at all, but its usefulness is disgusting. What makes it way worse is crouch cancelling. If you didn't know, crouching right before certain actions in this game will shorten the animation time. Two examples are satchels and sword block. 
So now, you have an almost instant 70% damage reduction whenever you need it. If you've watched players like Iniquity play Ronin, you'll understand that Sword Block is one of the best defensives in the game, but very difficult to use correctly. That's kind of a trend with this Titan. You have to really practice with him and understand his mechanics to be able to last longer than 10 seconds in a fight. Ronin's core is pretty easy to understand, because all it requires is a return to monkey. You are catapulted back to your days as a new Ronin player, where all you would use was your fucking sword. The funny thing is that it's actually a smart idea to press F now. Now, I want you to fight this North Star, right? Just use your fucking infinite dashes to get right up in that motherfucker's face and whack him until he dies. Wait, this isn't turning out right. Why am I not doing any damage? Hey, what's happening? Hey yo, is this motherfucker hacking? No, he isn't. He's just better than you. Get melee cancelled during your core, headass. That's correct, you can get melee cancelled during sword core too. You want advice on how to avoid that? Alright, here's some advice. Use your other abilities. They're there for a reason, and they're all on crack now. Oh wait, you're still not doing enough damage? Get fucked. So I'm gonna sell clocks, bitch! Motherfucking clocks! Look at this ancient ass clock here. This may be the only titan where I actually don't have a single kit to recommend. Ricochet rounds is kind of shitty. Thunderstorm gives you two charges for your arc wave. Temporal anomaly is cooldown reduction for your phase dash. Highlander is an extender for your sword core if you get kills, and phase reflex is what you use if you despise Monarch. They all have their time and place, and are all effective to some degree. I personally use Thunderstorm, because I enjoy pissing off tones. I wouldn't specifically recommend it though, because there are kits for all different playstyles. Holy Jesus! What is that? What the fuck is that? Ronin is one of the best titans to play at high skill play, but is very hard to pick up. He requires a lot of dedication to master, and even when you're one of the best of the best, you'll still get completely fucked sometimes. Ronin is a perfect representative of the Strider class, due to his high skill requirement and painfully low health pool. Regardless, I love playing Ronin. The number of mods out there have made him a joy to use, whether I be cosplaying Sans, Jetstream Sam, or anyone else. I truly feel that Ronin is a staple of the Titanfall experience, and that the game will be much less fun without the variation he provides to the battlefield. Other than that, I don't have much else to say. Ronan is a fun titan, and even if you don't have a lot of time on the game, give him a try. He takes a long time to learn, but the payoff is amazing. I would like to thank all the people of the North Star Discord and Full Ton Media for not only pointing out that my mic is shit, but also telling me how to make it better. I really do appreciate all the feedback that I've gotten, and as always, have a great day y'all.